Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan and today we will discuss device and process simulations. Process simulation is typically used as an input for device simulation, the modeling of device electrical characteristics. Collectively, process and device simulations form uh, the core tools for the design phase known as TCAD or Technology Computer Aided Design. Process simulation involves modeling all essential steps in the process flow in order to obtain dopant and stress profiles and to a lesser extent device geometry. So we should see the difference between device and process simulations here. So let's discuss device simulations first. Device simulation tools simulate the electrical characteristics of a semiconductor devices as response to external electrical, thermal or optical boundary conditions imposed on the structure. The input device structures typically comes from process simulation steps using tools like Centaurus process. Device simulations pro provides quick feedback about device design before long and expensive fabrications. So let's discuss process simulations now. Process simulation deals with the modeling of fabrication of semiconductor devices such as transistor and focuses on front end of the manufacturing steps. Back end of line steps are handled with tools like Centaurus interconnects. Powerful numerical algorithm simulation steps like implantation, diffusion, and dopant activation, etching, deposition, oxidation, and epitaxial growth in different semiconductor materials. The process simulator generate 2D or 3D structures with all dep deposited or grown and etched thin films and doped regions. This output may be fed into device simulator as input together with applied voltages. Process simulations. Process simulations model wafer fabrication steps like implantation, diffusion, oxidation, lithography models are calibrated and highly predictive. So here we have TCAD process flow editor. Etching and deposition are typically modeled geometrically. This process simulation starts from flow description and layout. So like here you can see this 90 nanometer NFET. So here is an example of process simulations. So here we have this 3D FinFit structure and here you can see uh, this is the cross-sectional view of 3D FinFit structure and uh, uh, these are basically the FinFit process simulations. So these uh, all small figures show only one by fourth of complete FinFit. So here you can see here we have this oxide, silicon oxide box, here we have this fin channel, here we have this gate oxide, here we have this poly, here we have this poly gate and oxide spacer. So here we have this nitride, nitride spacer, arsenic. So here you can see um, we, we, we have the idea about uh, what is going to happen in the fabrication. So here uh, this is an example of process simulations, device simulations. So the device simulations basically models the electrical, optical, mechanical and magnetic behavior of semiconductor devices. Simulation is typically performed on structures created by 
process simulations so here we have this simulated current density and flow lines in 100 nanometer devices so here you can see uh, this is uh, uh, the plot we got so the mode of uh, simulations uh, of uh, devices are static or time dependent large and small signal frequency dependent and noise modeling so these uh, device simulations basically produce highly accurate uh, CAD models and these can be extracted from device simulation results so here uh, we have this simulated electrical characteristics so here you, you can see so this is uh, an example of uh, device simulations so here uh, we have this uh, 3d fin fit structure so uh, we are interested to see the density of inversion charge in the cross section of uh, a fin fit body so here we have this uh, tall fin fit short fin fit and uh, uh, this is basically uh, the cross section of uh, fin fit body so here we have this source gate drain and uh, here we have this um, uh, uh, cross section view and um, here you can uh, uh, basically find the density of inversion charge in the cross section uh, by using uh, device simulations so uh, these were the discussion about the device simulations and uh, the process simulation so uh, we should uh, also get some idea about the circuit simulations so uh, you, you know as you know that the mosfets are used extensively in our digital integrated uh, circuits and uh, we have this MOSFET compact modeling for circuit simulations so for uh, basically circuit simulations MOSFETs are modeled with analytical equations device model is the link between technology manufacturing and design pro product the other link is design rules so as we know that circuits are designed either through circuit simula simulations or by using cell libraries that can be carefully designed beforehand using circuit simulations. So nowadays we have uh, BSIM, uh, as you know that BSIM stands for Berkeley Short Channel Insulated Gate Field Effect Transistor Model. It was developed by uh, University of California, uh, Berkeley in 1990s. So B BSIM is the first industry uh, standard MOSFET model. So uh, these were uh, the discussions about uh, device simulation, process simulation and uh, the circuit simulation. So if you have any question uh, related to this lecture, uh, please feel free to contact me. So thank you very much for today. See you next time.